to yell no. sometimes. Yell, get it out. Yell. Uh. Yeah, it's not- I know this has nothing to do with what we're going to talk about. Yeah. At all. But it's okay. Hi. (laughs) (laughs) This Um, is Coach's Corner, by the way. We're at the Nerd Gym. Uh, I'm Coach Mel. This is Coach Issa. What are we? Um, Yeah. Really quick tangent Mm -hmm. just to get started on. Yes. There was a study about how making noises is supposed to be healthy for you. Yes. Like it releases that stress. It releases that like stagnant energy by releasing it through your mouth. In the 70s, a big trend was something called scream therapy. And they would encourage like like aggravated housewives to like go in the basement scream as loud as they can and like smash dishes yes and shit. Like, yes should bring it back oh my god we could, should could we do we scream should. therapy yoga isa i think Isa's so. our resident I yogi so yes well there <laughs> there's that amazing <laughs> little meme of it's the grinch doing yeah. yoga and it's like breathe in and then the meme says something like um, what your insides sound like, and it's just the Grinch and him screaming, just screaming, like yes. like high pitched yeah. scream, and I'm like, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, there's goat yoga and goat scream. Yeah, they have like a really yeah. They're <laughs> it's not <laughs> subtle, <laughs> but it's so cute. It's adorable. Yeah, yeah. there's angry yoga. Too, yeah, where you do yell like profanities. Oh, okay. I haven't done it Excellent. yet. I've been wanting to. Yeah. All right. And I can definitely see a few of our people being into that. Hey, if you're into angry yoga, <laughs> like, Wait, go what? ahead and comment. <laughs> Let's see what we can do about it. <laughs> but today we're going to talk about dynamic stretching. Yes. yes. Uh, dynamic warm ups, dynamic stretching. Making sure that you get to the warm ups in classes. Mm-hmm. Because it's, yeah, it, we do intros. So that's one of the important yeah. parts. Like we introduce ourselves, our pronouns to everyone. And it's good to know. Yeah. Because sometimes you just don't know. Yeah. So whether you're a member on the regular or a guest coming in yeah. for the first time, we put the punk and punctual. We do start class on the on the dot that it is listed. And our first four minutes of class is a dynamic warm up and introductions. But this is not just fluff. This is no. not just us waiting for the late people. Like we want you to be on time for that. Yes. Yes. We need to get those muscles prepared for what's going to come ahead. Yes. What's to come. Reduces the risk of injury. Yes. Improves performance, gets the body warm. Yes. Yeah. Gets your joints ready for it by going through all of those full range of motions that we do. Yeah. Getting prepared for all of these things that the body's going to get. Yeah. If you do workouts <laughs> currently and you do not do a dynamic warm up, like just moving the body in all the different directions, please start. You will benefit from it immensely. Yes. Yeah. It's just like if you were to put like a rubber band in a refrigerator. Right, oh, right, and yeah. it's like really taut. Mm-hmm. And if you try to go and just like stretch it for a long hold or something, it's not gonna. No, no, it doesn't like that. It doesn't like little, it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you just start to pull okay. it a little bit, a little bit, yeah. then Move it starts it. to get a little more juicy. Yeah, get juicy. juicy. <laughs> and all that synovial juice. Yes, all the synovial fluids. That's my yeah 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 i love it sweet yeah Yeah. uh so so just to be clear the difference between dynamic stretching and static stretching dynamic stretching would be like you know if i'm moving my arms like this where there's movement you're moving through a range of motion and you're trying to get through that entire range of motion you're not just holding a stretch so a static stretch might be like we're gonna hold this because it's loud right so if you do a static stretch before your workout, you will actually uh, do some things to your nervous system that will make it more difficult for your muscles to contract fully against resistance. So not good if you're doing resistance training, but after the workout, perfect. When you're already warm, the muscles already warmed up. You yes. want to lengthen it out again. Yes. Perfect timing for it. Yes. So when you are physically warm is the time to do static stretching. Even if you were to just do a static stretch, still warm up your body though. Like yes. do a little jog, do a walk. Get in the hot tub. Get in the hot tub. Just yeah. warm yourself. Yes. Warm it up. Yeah. So you can get that, what what we call in the biz, plastic deformation. Plastic. <laughs> it's, plastic. It, sound, it sounds terrible, but all that means is like a stretch <laughs> that will last on your on your muscles and yeah. your, your tendons and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Put, put in the funk and functional. Yeah. 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 Because, Funky. yeah, that's one of the best down. part. Yeah, totally. To see what your body is capable of doing. Like, you don't think you can do a lot of things. Like, these forearm goblets. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
yeah hard but shoulder stuff especially like yeah. stick ups and that kind of stuff that we do before class because how often do you get your hands over your head really not i mean except for that one time that you need to like grab Reach. the like this time of year especially because i know you're going to be up in the baking aisle you're going to be getting weird ingredients oh. that you don't normally get the rest of the year and there's going to be like yeah. that last box of like freaking cornstarch or some dumb very, shit very on the top end. shelf and you're gonna be like <laughs> my shoulder do yeah. a little dynamic warm-up before you reach for that cornstarch in the aisle <laughs> is my suggestion just in yes. the supermarket yeah do it yeah just do it up great thing to do when you're standing in line too reduces stress you can do those dynamic warm-ups anywhere i was gonna yeah. say yelling yelling <laughs> yes doing the that screen the aisle <laughs> ah! <laughs> i mean why not yeah share I, the Holiday spice spirit. up somebody's day they're gonna be talking about it all day you know they've got a boring day they're going yeah. through their day but you know if you scream in the day. aisle then they're gonna be like talking to their co-workers you'll yeah. be like you never guess what this crazy person did like she it just screamed just screams like she put it down <laughs> and let out a banshee cry yes. <laughs> <laughs> i know what i'm doing later oh! yeah and definitely when i was uh toying with being a runner uh -huh. I'm not a runner. I like okay. to toy with the idea. Yes, yeah, same. Because same. same thing. I'll walk and sprint, and I'll be like, oh, I ran. Yeah. I'm like, this is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I did notice a very big difference from me just doing, like, like a random, like, little quad stretch. Then for me, actually starting yeah. off with, like, walking lunges or, like, Frankenstein walks. Right. Seriously, runners, I know there's a lot of y'all out there because I've been to a lot of runs. Y'all stretching wrong. So get those dynamic warm-ups going. Get the body physically warm before you start running. Running yeah. is not the warm-up for your running. I know you think it is, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> yeah, doing those motions just yeah. helped prepare, like, my hip flexors totally. prepared my whole body to get into what I was going to do. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, depending on the weather, if the zombie run is on tonight, uh, if you're interested in that, keep uh, go to the events on the page here, yeah. and uh, and I will keep you all posted because it like might rain tonight. But if it doesn't rain tonight, we, I do recommend doing uh, that dynamic warm up before we head out for our run. Yeah, walk run, walk run. It's not like it's self paced. I have oh, a suggested. I, I have a suggested route. I have um, a photo scavenger hunt that we're gonna do. So like, uh, there's six murals along the way. Like if you can spot all of them and take snap a photo of them, I'll enter you into drawing the wind cool stuff. Yeah. And there's some hidden yeah. ones too. I know there's sneaky ones. There yes. are. There was a couple when I did the what was it? The breast cancer walk. And I was yes. like, I've never seen this before. Yes. Yeah. That's the cool thing about walking around in Tucson yeah. is there's a lot of art. There's Exploring. a lot of art all over the place. There yeah. Is. But yeah. you never would assume. No, but there is. We're there artsy. is. It, it's an artsy town. We're I'm artsy. into it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's around two to five miles, yeah? Uh, two, Depending. 2.5 is the okay. suggested route that I have, but uh, it's it's like a running accountability group. Like, if you want to run your own route, that's fine. The suggested route I have, it's all well lit through the whole thing, and it's, um, it and it's within downtown, so it's, like, safe, but it's the less crowded safe routes is, is, yeah. you know in my opinion uh i take no responsibility for your safety on this thing by the way full disclaimer don't this is just alley. yes right so this is just for um yes <laughs> to prepare us to survive the zombie apocalypse it's that's why happen. it's the zombie run yeah absolutely yes i'm already waiting for all of those holiday people the holiday zombies the holiday zombies totally uh, yes yeah you gotta be prepared gonna start for anything no. <laughs> yes hi hey, shavana <laughs> yes. Good stuff. Yeah. So okay. Make sure you do your dynamic stretches. dynamic warm ups stretches. Yes. Yeah. Do your static stretches at the end. Mm -hmm. Give your muscles some loving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the things. All the things. And we will see you at the nerd gym. Yes. Bye. Bye.